In today's video, we're opening a Yu-Gi-Oh box from all the way back in the year 2010. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. We have an absolute power force box to be open today and I sound absolutely congested, probably because I just woke up. That's how I sound. If I don't say that, I know a million comments are gonna be like, hey man, are you sick, are you okay? I'm good guys, I just woke up though and we gotta get on the grind. So we're starting off with an absolute power force booster box. Thanks to Lars, if you guys remember Lars, he sent us some amazing product. We had three awesome mystery box openings that are right here. If you guys didn't see those, there were some of the most fun videos we've done recently and we pulled insane cards. And he purchased this this box off of my website, ruxa34.com. So if you guys wanna go check that out and buy something for yourself, I have Grady cards on there, I have singles, I have booster boxes that I could open for you or I could ship to you, go check it out. Before we actually get to the opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this play set of Evenly Matched. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you wanna see out of Absolute Power Force? There's a lot of like randomly good cards, mostly because of Edison format. So let me know what you like the most. Let's get to it. All right, let's open this thing up. I seem to have misplaced my other knife when I was breaking down boxes from Rarity Collection. So we got to go to Old Faithful, which has seen better days. That's for sure. It's not a great, great knife when it comes to cutting stuff. So we're going to be careful here. OK, that works. Uh, it's more it's more like a just a ripping device than a cutting device. <laughs> it'll work. It'll work. OK, we got it. We got it open. Lars, let's see what we can get you. There's some pretty crazy cards in here. There's a $12 super rare, the nimble mega hamster, whatever it's called. It's an Edison format card. It's a $12 super, so pretty solid. There's a card that's a common. I think it's a consecrated light like 250. So there's some randomly valuable cards that are not high end. And then there's, of course, the ghost rare Majestic Red Dragon. We want to get that. So let's shuffle these up. Should be, I mean, usually there's like, what, seven to nine foils in here? There's like, there's kind of a randomness when it comes to these 5Ds packs that I'm not totally sure what we're going to end up with, which makes it a little bit interesting. Not 100% certain what's going to happen when the ratios fall together. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we've got our shuffled up boosters. Let's see if Lars can get something awesome. He has sent us some amazing packs. Let's see if these packs he bought off the website are going to be epic. So that opened, I really like how these packs open. Those are super nice. I'm going to do three because I don't know exactly what to expect. Drill Warrior is also in this set. That ultimate rare is pretty nice. The top card's uh, Battle Fader at the moment, according to TCG player, but I think it'll probably be the Ghost Rare. Uh, Shredder, Ninja Turtles. Destruct Potion. I'm glad I turned my audio on because I restarted my computer, and that's usually when I forget to turn the mic back on. But I remembered, guys, so you guys can hear my nasally voice right now. <laughs> Variety comes out. We have Shield Worm and Not Guaranteed Foils, and that time we did not get one. Fire Ant Ascator. Starting it off slow, but... 2010 booster box. I don't remember the last time I opened this box. I do need to mention this is the set where the ratios can go wacky. Like they can be like three in a box, like three foils, or they can be like 15. Like it's insane. So we're open for that 15. We have Bicular, Rocket Builder, or you can just get like high rarity cards. You can get like ultis and secrets, and that's like it. Forgotten Simple, we have Black Potent. Look at Dottie. Look at all those arms. We have a skull conductor. Let's go skull servants and a power invader. Look, at, he looks like he should be on my hero. We have an alien brain changing destiny. Rose fairy meteor flare weeping idol machine king 3000 BC unicycular ascending soul and our first foil is not a first foil let's say it looks like a foil for a second i don't know how to say that so i'm just gonna move on so we are over three it's not a good start for a box like this because you can't just count on oh well, i know i'm gonna get this many uh foils in this kind of box because sometimes you won't you can get some really weird ratios out of here so i'm hoping we pick it up very soon serpent suppression we don't want to be suppressing anything here we want to be allowing foils to appear in former spider Informer Spider's a little spy, a little spider. It should have been S-P-Y, except that's the archetype, so they couldn't. Power Invader, Temple of the Sun, okay. A little Sunny Steps, we have Reptilian Servant, Meteor Flame, Reptilian Naga, X-Saber Garsim, and Ninja Turtles. Okay, so uh, 0 for 4 to start. Do not panic yet, guys, do not panic. These cards actually feel like they're in really like, they're super solid, you know, like they feel like they would la they're like brand new almost except like better quality even than the new cards, which is weird. I guess this was like a good period of Konami uh, QC, except for the fact they didn't put foils in everything. So they kind of messed that part up. They got the card stock right, but everything else they didn't really. Rocket Pilter, we have Alien Brain. This was around, I think UDE was still making these cards. It was like right before they stopped. Call of the Reaper, we have Magic Hole Golem. Meteor Flame, Weeping Idol. Visor Des and Informer Spider. I would like to inform you, you have not pulled a foil yet. Oh, for five. Thank you, Spider. Yep, we didn't need that. We didn't need that. Okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, come on, come on. For Lars. Lars, come on. You've had great luck before. We want to give him some great luck again as well. Very weird set. I'm hoping it's not a, we a really weird one. Well, a really weird in a good way would be nice. Shredder, Ninja Turtles. Black Potent. Gravekeepers, Stele. Widespread Duo. Sape. I don't even know what these mean. Oh, Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. First printing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, in English Yu-Gi-Oh! Hilariously in 2010. Very weird. And the Servant's Oppression. We are 0 for 6. We are a quarter of the way through the box. No foils. So look, the bright side is if it is a high rarity box where it's like three ulties or something, at least you get three ulties. So that's probably better anyway. Uh, that's the bright side. We have power supply. I don't even know where the foil is going to be. Rux and Special Changing Destiny. Reptilian Rage, Machine King 3000 BC, Reptilian Servant, Variety comes out. Another Machine King 3000 BC. Okay, I told you these boxes are weird. Burfamet and Chimera, back to back. Interesting. And I don't know if this, I don't, this might be the first print of this as well. And Spider's Lair. I feel like I'm in a Spider's Lair right now. This is, uh, this is troubling for sure. 0 for 7. Come on, Lars. We need you to get something good. We don't want this to happen. 1, 2, 3. Come on. You got to believe, guys. We have Oil Man. Da -da -da -da, oil man's here your car running low on oil oil man is here to help that could definitely be some sort of commercial or something inverse universe we have psy curse reptilian servant break draw reptilian naga I've seen all these cards but we haven't seen a foil advanced force gale dogger this used to be a money card i think they got a reprint but it was like a three dollar rare for a while oh no <laughs> not like this please absolute power force oh no oh for eight i think rocket pilder come on turn this around alien brain we're gonna get the ghost it'll make up for it spider's lair don't fret yet we still got a lot of packs left thou shalt not fret we have ritual oh rux and spencer right to the high Blade, which is a 22 dollar ultra i think i think i saw it on there for 22 bucks Hi, Unlay, where are you? Uh, yes, 2188. Wow. And I think that's that's not clicked in, so it might be a little different when you see the price on the screen, but that is a really nice card. This is good. X Saber, not even the ultimate rare. The ultimate rare is only a little bit more, according to the price guide, but it's probably way more when you click it in for the near mid. But Hi, Unlay, uh, very nice ultra. That's a good way to finally get a foil. I'm feeling a little better now. Okay, finally got a foil. Uh, I told you these boxes are weird, so... No super. So if we don't get a super in the entire box, I wouldn't even be shocked because that happens sometimes. That kind of sucks, though, because the nimble mega hamster is a super. We want that power supplier. We have changing destiny. Reptilian rage. Call of the Reaper. Ritual of destruction. Unicycular. Gundari. We have shield worm. And so it looks like it pops up before the rare. So I should be doing the pack trick a little differently. We are 10 packs in. We have one foil. It is a good foil, though, especially if you're going to play like uh, high on late. That, does that make it into Edison? I'm not sure. I don't know. It's definitely used in some format, but it's probably Edison if it's expensive. So it should be right there if it's a foil. So we're going to do that. Lair Wire, we have Fire and Ascator. Fire, our uh, machine assembly line, not fire. Okay, we have Reptilian Servant. Variety comes out. Swordmaster. Gandari, we have Apocalypse Quill. <laughs> Power Pickaxe. Wait, I did that. I did that wrong somehow. There's a. There's the rare. Okay. Uh, not sure how what I did there, but that didn't work. So it appears before the rare. Let's figure this out. Right in front. Well, it could be one of those ones where it, no, that's Stardust Overdrive, where it, it could be both, but probably in the same box. So it should be, if the rare is normally right here, then this should be it. Maybe I flipped them wrong or something. That should be it. We have a uh, Coderus, Rose Fairy. Yeah, well, no, I shouldn't put it in front of the rare. Yeah, the rare should be in front of that. There we go. Okay, we have Bicular. That's what I did wrong. Tricular, Meteor Flame. We have Break Draw. Nature's Reflection, Evil Blast, and Destruct Potion. Okay, Destruct Potion, come on. 12 packs in, one foil. Not great, not awesome. Lars is looking for more than that. It was a great card, so maybe if we can get a few more great cards, he'll be happy. Okay, I gotta figure this out again. No, this, this is the one I need to move. You do four, and then this would be the rare, but it'd be in front of it, so you do that. Okay, finally, I'm, I'm not stupid anymore. We have Rose Fairy, Lair Wire, we have Reptilian Gardener, Viper's Rebirth, Tricular, Unicycular, Call the Reaper, Drill Synchron. Oh, look at that guy. He's like, ah, oh! and the magical golem. Oh, I hate that this is happening. I was like, yeah, this could happen, and it's it's happening. This is uh, it's the worst version too. It's not the good version. Four from the back. We have a Apocatil. Apocatil. We have Layer Wire, Fire and Ascator. I can't pull these cards. Machine Assembly Line, Swordmaster. Gandari. I feel like a guy with the name Swordmaster should have cooler artwork than that. I'm not going to lie. He looks okay, but he looks he's too zoomed out. Sape, Core Blast, and... Oh, 
Battle Vader, let's go. This is another one of the best cards, not ulti, but we're pulling all the good ultras out of here, which I guess we cannot complain. This is like an eight to eight dollar card, according there. Uh, we'll see what it actually is, but that's a pretty solid one. The ulti is way more. For some reason, the ulti goes way up for Battle Fader, but not for Hyun Lei on the price guide. Pretty weird, but also we'll take it. Not bad. And uh, two ultras, that's it. This is going to be an ultra only box. Hopefully not. We want high rarity. Psycurse, we have Spider's Lair, Power Supplier, Oil Man, da -da -da -da. we have uh, Gandari. Temple of the Sun. So many steps. We have Servant. We have Power Pickaxe and Meteor Flare. The Flare and Meteor. Come on. Let's turn this around. Absolute Power Force. Let's get us some more foils here. Let's get a super, super, a super, super nimble mega hamster. How about that? Double, say super twice in a row. Two, three, four. And then we're going to do a little. Yeah, these cards are so like sticky. It's really weird. They like the friction is crazy. We have Ascator, Tillian Rage. We have Shredder, Struck Potion, Tricular, Sabane. We have Machine King 3000 BC, Gravekeeper's Descendant, and Unicycular. We are two for whatever right now. Two for like 16 or something. Still time. There's still time. Maybe I mixed them all to the same spot. Maybe I did. I am not feeling too confident about that, though. This is so hard to do. Maybe I should just take three from the front. That might be easier. Former, we have Power Invader, Rocket Pilder. We have Alien Brain, Feel the Pain. We have Naga, Panda Borg. Gravekeeper Stelle, we have Dark Bug and Advanced Force. This is Absolute Power Force for you. If you've never experienced Absolute Power Force, you are riding the Absolute Power Force train right now. This is just how it goes. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh's favorite set. This is just how it goes. Wait, if I do that, that's not gonna work. Wait, maybe I should go like this. That'll put the rare right there. That is definitely not right. I did something great. Wait, we go like this. I'm, this is way harder the way I just did it. We have uh, Viper's Rebirth. Let's see if that gave us a ghost rare. Power Supplier, Reptilian Gardner, Ruxin Special, Destruct Potion, Panda Borg, Gravekeeper Stele. We have an Advanced Force, Offering to the Immortals, and Machine King 3000 BC for the 3000th time. We have two foils in this box. Two might be a record. We gotta break that. Like, I feel like I've seen a three box. I mean, please, not a two. Not for Lars. He deserves better. He deserves better. Lars deserves better than this. We have Reptilian Gardner. Pot of Benevolence. I think that used to be a money card, or at least a dollar. Uh, Machine, Assembly Line, Spay, Panda Borg. We got Temple of the Deep. We have Cyber Dragon's Way and Black Potent. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Wow, feel the power of Jack Atlas. I'm not feeling it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not feeling the power at all. I am not feeling the power. This is extremely rough. Lars is the same guy who pulled like three or like four ghost rares though. So maybe this is like his luck is returning. <laughs> he pulled four ghost rares out of like, it was like 300 packs or something. Fire and Ascator, and then we're talking like old ones, like first dead Stardust and stuff. Spider's Lair, we have da -da -da -da, Oil Man. We have Shredder, Reptilian Servant. Variety comes out, come on. Swordmaster, Dijin, Prognascator, Rituals. Come on, Ghost Rare, come on. Oh. Why are you doing this to Lars? Lars, no, he didn't deserve this. He deserves better. Okay, if we get a Ghost Rare, He'll be okay. He'll be okay if we get a ghost rare. Come on. Or Battle Fader Ultimate Rare or Drill Warrior Ultimate Rare. Those are acceptable. Those are ones that are decent. They can that will make the box feel a little better. I told you there was gonna be no supers. I just had a feeling. Coderus, when we didn't get anything for the first beginning. Rose Fairy, come on, bike alert. Come on. We have like three packs left. Weeping Idol. Break draw. Consecrated light. That's like that's like three bucks. That's it. That's a good pull. We'll take it. Must be a short print or something. Reptilian and Why? Okay, no, there's three packs left after this. Okay, all these are gonna have foils right here. They're all gonna have foils. We're getting rid of this box. It's bad mojo. We're putting it over here. Need it away from us. Okay, one, two, three, four. The slowest pack trick ever because these cards don't want to move. Da -da -da, oil Man. We have Inverse Universe. I haven't seen that much. That's actually a decent trap card. Psycurse, Rose Fairy, Ritual of Destruction. Forgotten Temple of the Deep. I've forgotten what it's like to pull a foil. Back in my day, we pulled foils uh, every other pack. Uh, not really every four packs, but Ritual Cage. I haven't seen that either. Interesting. Is that Sephira? No, that's just general. No, no, that's, they use that. Okay, that was with a, a skill in Duel Links. And... Oh, okay, it wasn't the ghost, but it is the cover card. Majestic Red Dragon, ultra rare. And all ultra rare box, we have, it's like they got rid of all the other cards except ultras. We have three ultras, and of course it's Consecrated Light. Okay, 
Cover card, pretty cool. Not super valuable, but uh, it's better than a common. Two packs left. This is this is sad. That's good, though. It's on the right start. Remember I said there's going to be three foils in these three packs. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's pull something big. Let's get it up, Majestic. Let's get an ulti. Come on, give us an ulti, please. Don't do this to us. Or you're not going to give us one. We have Spider's Lair. Power Supplier. Changing Destiny. Reptilian Rage. Machine King. 3000 BC for the 3000th time. Weaving Idol. Break Draw. Shield Worm. Come on, baby. Give us something, please. Forgotten. It's been been forgotten the ways of foil pulling lars it comes down the final pack the only positive is you got above ratio on ultras that's it the minus is you didn't get anything else so far so yeah this is this is rough this is super rough absolute power force does it again a classic absolute power force experience if you've never experienced absolute power force you have now because even if we pull something here it's only four foils so that's pretty rough make this last one be something so we're at least somewhat close to the ratio we have lars wire lars Ra i'm reading it as lars i'm like lars no lair wire reptilian gardener viper rebirth a pocket quill <laughs> nature's reflection variety comes out advanced force dejin curse enchanter of rituals we need one final card in this final pack to make this salvageable here we go if you guys have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe lars i'm gonna probably throw a couple extras in your pack because this is rough and an ulti sun dragon inti all right there we go we at least got an ulti thank goodness this isn't a crazy one but it is not a bad it's not bad like i think it's probably like 20 bucks if i had to guess when i say that it'll probably be like two bucks or something but this is a really nice card. Okay, okay, thank goodness you got an ulti. Four foils in an entire box. It's still brutal, though. So, Lars, thanks again for checking out the website, and uh, hopefully next time you do a little better than that. If you guys are interested, go check out ruxin34.com. And yeah, Absolute Power Force. I do have a first dead box, so if anybody wants to roll the dice with Absolute Power Force, this is what could happen. Or it could be a lot better, which I'm hoping for. Shout out to Tone Foe Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dian, American Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.